Good morning, ladies. Um, I'm going to be doing a email couture customer service review, um, along with sharing um, six scoops and some non-scoop items. Um, and then I'm going to show you a few things that I got at my cheap store yesterday. I did post a uh, couple pictures on my um, uh, community in the in my community um but i kind of just want to discuss a few things but most importantly this is a customer a you know exclusive nail couture review customer service review okay um so yes but first off i want to thank everybody for being here if you're returning thank you thank you thank you i love you all so very much if you are new welcome 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 and if you enjoy being here please like subscribe and comment in uh, below and say hello um today is what is today wednesday no tuesday tuesday the 20th uh february 20th and we got 15 more day actually no eight plus five is 12 or is that 13 13 more days wow only th yeah 13 more days wow holy moly you guys 13 more days that is insane oh i'm so excited to get moved okay okay oh before i forget because i was just digging in my stuff trying to find this so that we could do our you know on the floor deal i can't wait to get set back up man uh, having to sit on the floor to do things or in this uncomfortable position sitting at this little plastic shelf is just not the business so uh barbie mentioned when i was talking about all those little uh 12 grid uh charm holders that i have remind me in a few weeks and i will send those to you barbie you can have them all <laughs> um because <clears throat> they're just a nuisance for me. It's just too much. Um, okay, so. Okay, so <clears throat> with an order, I had ordered, was, was it just this? And then I ordered this. I don't know. Dang it. How did I do that? How was my order? What did I order? What did I order? Um... Okay, so I have six scoops, but it's 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 four separate orders. The first order was um, three three scoops, and I believe that was with this and I think that these I believe I think with the acrylics and the gel builder. And then one order was with, oh lordy, I don't even freaking know you guys, was with these, I, okay, honestly, I don't know, <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't know, um, I just know that the last order, um, that they fulfilled, I'm trying to think because this would have been the first order that they should have sent, but they didn't. Anyways, okay. So when they brought the scoops back, I believe it was January 29th or 30th. Oh yeah, that's right. So that was that was the three scoops. Okay, so on February 2nd, I ordered I okay, I had ordered three, I had ordered one scoop, three of his A pinks. Um, a hard gel, press-on gel, and I can't remember if I ordered, I think I ordered the prep, too. I don't freaking know. Anyways, the point of the customer review is in one of the orders, I had ordered three A-Pinks from his, the A-Pink collection with the, in the tall bottles with the star. Sorry. Um, but... They had sent me Bon Bon, okay? Still beautiful, 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 but not what I ordered. And oh my God, you guys, look at the number. Okay, so this is from his metallic 
collection, number 30. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at this. And I was actually going to be buying this because uh, I seen him use it on a set. What was it like a week or so ago? Why does my phone look foggy? I got so much issues with this thing. I don't know. Anyway, let me turn this off because it's just, it's super bright. So it's clashing with the flash. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Look at that. Oh my, it's like highlighter yellow. So, okay. So I messaged them. Hey guys, you know, um, I think we had a mistake. I had ordered three of the A pink and I received Bon Bon. They messaged back, oh no, we apologize. You know, can you please send a picture of the product, the wrong products that you received and a picture of your invoice? And I did do that. They, I mean, they were immediately messaging me back because I had, I had emailed them right after I opened my order and they just, they, they were on it. So they had, um, messaged me back. So I, okay. So I sent the information and they replied back, you know, oh my gosh, we apologize. We will get those sent out to you ASAP. You know, I, I messaged back. I said, thank you so much. I appreciate you so very much. You know, I understand you guys are swamped with orders. And I really, really, really appreciate the kindness and, and this getting taken care of. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, Just basically letting them know, you know, hey, you know, whatever. We all make mistakes, especially when you're swamped busy and you have, you know what I mean? You got minimal, you know, and workers. And I know that those people over there are working their butts off. I can because when he said nine thousand orders, yeah, they're swamped. So, and then I had also asked her um, if I need if there was a, a shipping label I needed to print out to uh, send them back their um, bonbons. And this beautiful soul, she told me, "No, you keep them for the inconvenience." Okay. If that ain't top tier customer service, I don't know what is. That's all I got to say. Five stars. Five stars. Okay. Number one, not just because they let me keep the bonbons. They were, whoever it was, was so kind from the very beginning and then apologize, apologized for their mistake and said they will get that corrected immediately. Okay. Now, this is just the bonus. Okay. To, to, for them to let me keep these. That is, I mean, for the inconvenience, she said. I get to keep these. $30 in gels. Okay? So, you know, we always hear about all the negative, 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 And a lot of it is from years ago. It's very outdated. Now, I know there is a couple people recently who have had, you know, a, a terrible experience, and I apologize about that, and we definitely should hear about that, hear about, you know, that experience, but I feel like we, people need to start coming forward more with the positive experiences, too. I don't think it's very fair to a business if we're only talking about the negative experiences, okay? That is just not right. If you have a good experience, talk about it just as as fast and as quick as you would with a bad experience you know what i mean i think all reviews are extremely important for the rest of us to know you know people who want to buy from companies it's good for us to hear the negative and the positive you see what i'm saying so we can weigh so that we can weigh out you know what i mean make make our decision makes our decision a little bit easier whether we want to shop with that company or not um, and I will be honest and, and, and I explain, and I asked him if I could do a customer review because I feel like it was top tier and she said, please do, you know, and I told her, you know, I feel that you guys deserve to have, you know, and I explained to her, you know, we're always hearing about the negative reviews and most of them are outdated from years ago. And, um, and I feel like, you know, uh, I just had a brain fart. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And I told her, you know, um, I feel like the positive should be talked about too. And I told her, you know, and a lot of people because of these, these ne negative reviews. And, and I told her, I said, uh, you know, including myself, I'm guilty. It made me 
extremely nervous to place a big order with them because here I, uh, you know, in a few weeks I wanted to place a nice size or non scoop. Oh, I may throw a scoop in. I don't know because I mean, I mean it's just a great deal. There, we're never going to have that again in our lifetime. But um, it, it's mainly uh, his system. Um, I want to double up on most of the stuff that I got um, and add some more items, but I wanted to spend like a good two, three hundred dollars, and I've been very nervous, um, thinking, okay, if I spend three hundred dollars and something happens, and then they are rude and don't take care of the situation, then I'm screwed out of my money, and that's not fair. And I told her, I, you know, I've been guilty myself to be nervous about that, but this is now my second experience with them. A pleasant experience when there is a mistake. The first one was um, I got the wrong sticker and they sent me out two stickers and they were kind about it. This time, this just this, this sealed the deal for me. I am completely comfortable now with purchasing the, the placing the two three hundred dollar order that I wanted. Okay, um, and I'll be honest, I've never gone above eighty dollars when placing an order with them. Because I just have been too nervous. So, um, I don't even think I've placed 80. I think close to 80. Or maybe it was 70 something. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've spent a lot of money with them. But it's little increments at a time. So, yeah, I am absolutely, absolutely will be placing my big order here in a few weeks. And I just want to say, I mean... A top tier A1 customer service, whoever it was. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She did not give a name. She just signed it. I think uh, regards Enel Couture. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was one of the one of the very few. I've had a v very few. I think I this would be number three that I have had the best top tier customer service ever out of all businesses so it's now uh exclusive nail couture uh born pretty and lavinda yeah those three places oh okay and bell bell i well the customer service with bell was rocky at first but i'm gonna say with no rock okay Top three, yeah, is definitely Lavinda, Born Pretty, and uh, Exclusive Nail Couture. So, and I've shopped with a lot of businesses, and I've had a lot of issues, you know what I mean, throughout my years. So, to be in the top three, yeah. So... I definitely recommend. Now, I know there's been issues with the whole the whole scoop deal. That's where a lot of those other negative reviews are coming from, but... Honestly, I mean, we can't really negative review those. You know what I mean? I mean, we get what we pay for. I mean, we, I mean, we got way more than what we paid for. So honestly, I don't think those reviews count. You know, even my complaining uh, on the one where I felt like I got gypped because I only got a nail file and a candy box and I think some swatch sticks or something, which is right here, with a bunch of tips and foils, and I was pretty upset. Um... But even then, I still, with with just the tips and foils and that, I mean, I still got well over my money's worth, and it is, it's a mystery scoop, you know what I mean? So we can't really, I guess, review that. I mean, you get what you get, I suppose. Um, so now, Miss Bulldogs, now her situation is a little different because she clearly paid for three scoops and got one. We all could see that. I mean, she had the exact same box that I had when I ordered one scoop. So, um, but other than those review, like those bad, like the scoop bad reviews, people, whatever their issue, it's, it's, or them complaining about expired items, but it's honestly, it's a scoop. You guys regard, if you get a couple expired items, who gives a shit? I mean, just a couple packs of the tips are paying for the scoop alone. Three packs is paying for two is paying for the scoop plus shipping. Three packs of tips. So if you get some hand sanit, oh my gosh, you guys, hold on, hold on. Sorry, you guys, my kid likes to climb up on the freaking entertainment center thing where I have glass items and I could hear it clinking around. 
God, have I had a heart attack? I gotta breathe here. Okay, where were we? The reviews for the scoops. Us complaining about the scoops. So, um, yeah, like I said, regardless, like, even if we get a couple expired items, like the sanitizer, uh, which I never got, um, who cares? Who cares? Everything else in the scoop, it outweighs gra getting one or two expired items, and we're getting, like, five times what we pay. So, yeah. And the gel polish thing, like, you guys, if something, where is something that I have? Okay, here, we're just going to use this as an example because it's the closest that I have. Where are we at? Hold on. Where's the expiration? Of course, it's not going to show the expiration. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, okay, well, whatever. I guess I don't have an example. Um, something that has an expiration expiration date, it will either say expiration or EXP next to it. Okay? If it does not have EXP or expiration next to the date, it is a manufacturing date. This was made in 2021. It's a manufacturing date, you guys. Manufacturing date. Which means that's the date it was made and put into that bottle. And it doesn't, it stays good until you open it. And then it's still good for years after, depending on the quality of the gel. So, quit tripping. Anyway, so that is my customer uh, service review, top tier, top tier, top tier for Eno. Well, it's exclusive nail couture. Um, five stars. I give five. Actually, I'm gonna yeah, five stars. If we're doing the the five star thing, I give five stars. You guys, like, I mean, top tier customer service. And this is not the first time. This is twice now that I have had a wonderful customer service experience and they were just extremely kind from the very beginning. No snootiness, snideness, very kind, took care of the situation and apologized. So I am a hundred percent comfortable with placing an order again, or a big order actually. And I actually, I will be placing, um, a big order. So, um, sorry, <laughs> I had to stretch my, my leg real quick. I'm sitting here crisscross applesauce and I have really bad, like, uh, uh, blood circulation. I start falling asleep. Um, so yeah, five stars, you guys. Five, I just, I was just so blown away by that. And look how beautiful these are. So I get these as a gift, as a freaking gift, you guys. Let me show you. Now, what they did get correct was the numbers that I chose. So from the A Pink collection, I did choose 30. I did choose 34. And I did choose 36. And these other ones are some beautiful nudie pinks. Beautiful. Let me show you. Hold on. Let me set you. Uh oh. Don't flip out on me. Okay. Ah. Okay. So here is the metallic. Ugh, they're gorgeous, you guys. Look at that. Oh my god. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. So gorgeous. I love it. And it is extremely opaque. Like, for being, like, that bright of a color, a lot of times these are pretty transparent. Like, jelly. Like, that's one coat, you guys. One. Well, given it is on a, a natural tip, but... Um, it, it is pretty opaque. I should have done it on a clear to show. Oh man, do I have a clear one later? I don't. Dang it. It's gorgeous. I love it. Love that. Um, okay. And then this is, uh, Romance Magic. And number 34, this is beautiful too. Oh, I love this color. I really like this color. Hold on here. Let me, let me turn the bright off. Isn't that beautiful? I love that pink. Uh-oh, it's going to. 
Hold on here. I don't want any mess. Anyway, isn't that a beautiful, beautiful, I don't, it's like a, I don't know, real soft pink. It matches, almost matches the lid. That's beautiful though. I love that color. Gorgeous. Super gorgeous. Anyway, so that is um, Romance Magic, number 34. And then we got, oh, okay, so these, okay, both of these are part of his romance. Okay, so these two are from his romance, uh, romance bonbon collection. And then this one is from his um, heavy metal neon bonbon collection. Okay, so from the magic, or from the romance magic, this one is 36. I think we're going to be able to see better with the bright off on these. This one is a beautiful, beautiful pink too. I love it. Super pinky, but, but in person it's more, it's not as bright as it looks on camera. Very beautiful. And they have like a sweet smell. I can smell it all the way like over here. So that is beautiful. Number 36. So very, very great gift. <laughs> I am extremely satisfied and thankful for these. Thank you, Enel Couture, for my gift. I appreciate this. You guys totally didn't have to do this, you know. I could have totally sent these back, you know, and, you know, received my correct items that were in error, but um, I appreciate you guys letting me have these um, as a gift for the inconvenience. These are gorgeous, and now I get to try, I've been wanting to try from the Bon Bon collection anyways. I absolutely love the bottles. These are well made. These are not stickers. This is not a sticker on here. It is printed on here, and it is like... Um, 3d on here so there's like texture it's beautiful and it's got like that whole sailor moon thing going right here or that's not sailor moon i'm tripping aren't i um so yeah thank you thank you enel couture for the amazing customer service i appreciate you beautiful people okay so, okay, so that was that was my customer service. This is going to be a long video, guys. Very long. Okay, so we got those. Now, I ha I'm going to show you everything that I've bought from them that is non-scoop. I'm not sure if I've already shown you guys this stuff, but I'm going to reshow just in case. So, um, let me dump some of these out. Let me reset you guys up. This might be easier for me to do it like this. Okay. So... And see, uh, uh, one thing with my next order is I'm going to be doubling up, like either buying one or two more of the items that I've already purchased of his, which is like his system. I want to make sure I'm stocked up on his system. I want to have everything and be stocked up on it. You know what I mean? Have plenty because I think now um, with the whole scoop thing, I think that's really put his business um, back out there and he, you know, he is now like in business and things are actually going out of stock now. So um, I want to make sure I have those items and I don't run out anytime soon and have to worry about them being out of stock like this beautiful thing. So I got Queen Gel. <laughs> Everybody's been raving. It is great it's to me it's a builder gel in a bottle um it is of course the scratch resistant um scuff resistant all that so um so i got some of the hard gel isn't that a beautiful bottle or the queen gel queen gel hard gel top coat it's gorgeous i love this ah it's beautiful now the, this does have a sticker on it. See, I don't like the whole sticker thing on bottles at all. Um, I just don't like it. Um, but that is a nice sticker, actually. It doesn't look cheap at all. Um, I typically don't like stickers on bottles. I think it makes, look, makes products look cheap. Very cheap. 
Um, I like my bottles to have their information printed on it. Um, but these are actually really high quality stickers. It looks very nice. I actually thought it was printed on here. I didn't even think that it was a sticker, but it is a sticker. And that bottle, beautiful. Look at that. So this is the hard gel. So this is one of the things that's out of stock that I actually want to go buy a couple more of. Um, cause I will be using it. Look how thick that is, you guys. Oh yeah. That is great. It's very thick. Now, someone uh, advised us um, to keep this like warm or get it warmed up before you use it, which will make the application easier because it is so thick and when it is cold, it is very, very thick and hard to work with. Um, but I haven't actually used this yet. <sighs> Isn't that gorgeous? I actually just received that with the bonbons that I was supposed to get the eight pinks. And then, of course, I got the press-on gel. I got it in clear, and I need to go buy um, the pink. And then I want, actually, um, another clear. So I'm going to grab one pink and then another clear, because I'll probably use clear most. Um, but I do want the pink, too. I'm not going to open this because I am moving. Um, this is the candy jelly in clear. It's his builder gel. It feels very light, but... Um, so, the, he has this in, um, is it Eternal of Age? Uh, which I'm going to be buying. Um, but he has this in 15 milligram, which is what I got for $10. And he has it in 30 for 18 bucks. So, I'm actually going to purchase another one in the 30 milligrams. Um, and then I want to get the 10, 15 milligram of the, I think it's Eternal Beige or just pink. I don't know. So I got that. These are all non-scoop, non-scoop items is what these are. This is things that I have purchased outside of the scoop. Um, cause I typically will purchase something, one thing or another, uh, whether it be a sticker, an acrylic powder with my orders. I've been doing that for quite a while now. Um, I wasn't like my first few orders and then I started buying non-scoop items. I got these stickers. I thought they were cute. They don't have many left that I like. A lot of his stickers I honestly don't like. Um, I just don't. And you know, I'm still upset to this day because I had his knockoff LV. I had ordered the knockoff LV um, stickers, which they were called luxury handbag stickers. And those were the ones that they gave me the wrong stickers of. They gave me some weird alien ones. And then when they went to send replacements, it wasn't, it wasn't the, the ones that I had originally ordered. Um, but they were still pretty and they gave me two of them. Um, and I'm thinking that's because they were out of stock because they, they aren't there no more because I've tried to buy them again and I really wanted some. Um, but I thought these were cute. I liked these so I got them in the ro rose gold. It looks rose gold to me. It must have been gold on, on the site, but it looks rose gold in person. So I got those in black and the rose gold. I don't know. I'll have to go look. But these are cute. So I got those. And then um, I have, hold on. Where is, so I am missing. I, I don't think I have showed you guys all of this stuff. Um, I do remember showing this bag though because of the sticker deal. Um, it's okay. If I reshow some items, I don't care. Um, what am I looking for? Where are my other items? Oh, here they are. So I have, I did purchase, yeah, see, I haven't showed you guys a lot of these. Um, now, this is another thing I will, see, I got his whole system here. The uh, nail prep, primer, and cuticle oil, <laughs> which I will be, um, isn't that just darling? I love it. Um, I will be buying now if you guys buy these and you notice the tops are crooked I Learned this with the JR bottles. They just pop right off. You just pull them off and then re-center them and push them down um, So I'm going to be buying he actually sells big refill bottles for these so a vanilla prep and primer they come in four ounce bottles for um 
20 bucks. So I'm going to be purchasing the refill bottles for these. And then for the cuticle oil, you get eight ounces for 20 bucks. So I will be purchasing all the refill bottles for these. So I have his nail prep, his primer, cuticle oil. Aren't those just darling? Oh, I just love these bottles so much. So I got those. I, I, I'm just obsessed with his packaging. It's everything that I've been searching for forever, you guys. The long, to, uh, you know, to these long top bottles, to sh cute shit like this. Like, I am obsessed. And a lot of places don't have a lot of cutesy stuff like this. They just don't. And if they do, it's freaking an insane price. So I do, and his products, I mean, he does have good quality products, and you guys, they're made in the USA, you know what I mean? That's giving our people work over in the USA, you know what I'm saying? Instead of them going overseas and giving all the work to everybody else. Okay, so I think I purchased this one, or no, I purchased this one. So this is like the you know, Chanel look-alike. Um, and then this, so this is what they sent me that apparently they thought I purchased, but I didn't purchase this one because I, per maybe I did. I purchased the handbag one. I don't think it was this one, but I do like it. I think these are really pretty and I would totally use those. And they gave me this as free. And so it's black and I think these maybe glow in the dark over here. So that's cool. Some more stickers. I love stickers. That's another thing you'll learn about me. I love, love, love me some stickers. Now, I think I've showed you guys this. This, I think, was one of the first items I purchased from him. Now, I'm going to say this. Um, at least on this one, it is cheaply made. Uh, it, I barely just got this and have only used this a couple times. And the paint is chipping away, rubbing away. So, you see? You can see the, the whatever cut the silver underneath that it originally was. Like it was spray painted or something. So, yeah, I'm very disappointed in that. I'm hoping that doesn't happen with the other items. And then this one actually came dinged up. I actually showed you guys about that. And I had emailed them. Um, not that I wanted a replacement, you see. Not that I had wanted a replacement, but I wanted to give them a heads up. You know, hey, you know, pay a little bit more attention. You are sending, you sent me damaged, you know, items that I paid for. And I want them in pristine condition. You know, things like this, throw on sale. Okay, then I'll buy it up. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I know it has a ding, but you're selling it for five bucks. I'll snatch it up. But if I'm paying full price, I, I want it in new condition. I'm weird like that. So... That is one uh, situation that irritated the shit out of me because the first thing they ran and did was told me it's USPS. It was not USPS. They had these individually wrapped in this by themselves, nice and wrapped in the boxes with tons of paper and protection and there was zero damage to the box. It was not USPS. This item was absolutely packaged already damaged. It got dinged up or whatever. However, they had this stuff uh, or sitting in their warehouse, maybe in a bucket or something. And then we're, you know what I'm saying? And they got dinged against each other. But you see right here how that's rubbing off and it looks all dirty? Yeah, I don't like that. So anyway, so that was my crappy experience, but it's all good. Um, so this is their dome top coat. Um, this is thick too, like a like a builder gel. I really, really like it. It's good for encapsulating. So I have showed you guys this, I believe. So I will be buying another one of these also. So I think that's a cute bottle too. Super cute. Um, okay, so I got that, the dome top. And then this is a part of his crap. What is it called? Hold on, guys. I gotta figure this out. The, uh, oh no, I can't remember the name. It's one of his top coat collections. Uh, it is a top coat and I can't remember shit. 
Oh, man, you guys. Okay, so anyways, in this collection, you have opal, you have pink gold, I think it's pink glitter, or is it silver glitter, and gold glitter. I want to say it's pink glitter. I think it's pink glitter and then the gold glitter. I got the opal. This is the opal one. So they have three in this collection. And I am going to be grabbing the other two. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And I can't find the swatch stick. I painted over a swatch stick that I had painted on. And it just was absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to be grabbing the other two to this collection. I basically want two of everything that I get from there, though. Because I'm weird like that. I like to be stocked up on everything. And look. Now, another thing. This came damaged. The tip of this was broken off. And I actually had to glue it. So, that is one thing that is starting to irritate me. Is I think that items that are already pre-damaged are being put into my package. And I don't like that. I don't want damaged items. And then they, they don't care if they send it to you. Because they just automatically blame it on the post office. Hold on. I'm trying to show you where it's also chipped at the tip. Let me turn the light on. So I don't know if you can see where I had to glue it. No, nope, Because my camera is doing that thing again. Because I dropped it. Damn it. Or I didn't drop it when I put it, paused you guys to run out because of my kid. Nope. Damn it. Ugh, that's annoying. Hate that, man. And I don't know how to get the thing, the clear out. Or the blurry. No, don't do this to me. I'm gonna, I might have to do... Hold on. If this clicks off, I will do a second. Uh, I don't know how to get rid of this. Oh, there we go. Did I fix it? Oh, I hope I fixed it. Oh, I think I fixed it. Oh, I think I figured it out. No, I didn't figure it out, but... Anyway, whatever. Oh, that's annoying. So, anyways, at the tip, it's a little bit chipped. Um, and isn't that beautiful? And then this was like the tip of it was broken off and I glued it back on. But that's gorgeous. That's the uh, opal top coat one. I'll just have to be far away and not show you guys the dang colors. God. So, there's that one. And then, of course, I have base coat. I'm not going to show. It's just your typical base coat. So cute. Yeah, I got their base coat. And then I got their cute little... I'm going to buy a couple more of these because um, I did receive some little things of charms in my scoops. And I um, actually just ordered some um, a few days ago. Uh, with one, I ordered one last $20 scoop because I've been seeing people... I'm um, getting a little bit more than me in their little single scoops. Um, but they're ordering ones without no other items. And I have been ordering, like some of mine have had quite a bit of items. So, um, anyway. I, but I was actually going to order more than one of these. This was like last month or something. I got this. Uh, but they were out of stock. But they now have them. So, I'm going to order a few more of these. I want to put, to put his charms in. I ordered some that they're only a freaking dollar, dude. So I grabbed some with one last. I got one last twenty dollar scoop, and I and I oops, excuse me. And I have a um uh I have one color and one super scoop coming that I snatched up with like the day of or the day after um they came out with them. I borrowed that money. <laughs> um. Oh, I need to fix that. Uh, so, yeah, I grabbed those. But apparently, uh, Chetta messaged me and was telling me um, they upped the price on the color scoop from $35 to $50. I mean, it's still a good price because you're paying $2 a gel. But, I mean, that's a, I don't know if too many people are going to purchase those now. I mean, that's a huge increase, man. I could see maybe, like, you know, upping them to, like, 40 bucks. But, um, at this point, 
one thing that is driving me nuts is I feel like he's trying to lure people in with these low prices, and then once we're hooked, he's trying to, you know, do the business thing and up the price and lower the product. And um, when this, I thought, he, you know, this was supposed to be because he wanted to liquidate his items. And now I don't feel like that's, like, the whole truth. I don't feel like he's trying to liquidate, honestly. I think he's just trying to sell his his items as normal. I don't know, dude. It doesn't feel like he, he, I don't know. At first it felt like he was trying to liquidate, but it just doesn't seem like that so much now. Um, I mean, like, how many items can you have? And now, he, I, you know, he, before every live he was saying, um... He's tired of scoops. He just wants scoops to be done. And I'm like, that's a bunch of BS. Because if you were tired of scoops and wanted them to be done, you wouldn't have uh, made them a quarter of the size that they were. So, but whatever. Hey, that's a business thing. I can get it. He's trying to get every penny dollar he can out of his items. So, I get it. It just is a little bit annoying for me. <laughs> I'm glad I got my color scoop, but yeah, they're no longer $35. They are $50 now for 24 gels, which is a still, it's still a good price. I mean, two bucks, that's what I pay for my really good gels on Timu. So, I mean, it's still a good price, but I mean, that's a huge spike, 15 bucks. He should have started small, you know what I mean? If he wanted to up the price, 35 to 40, 35 to 50. I wonder if anybody's going to buy them. I'm sure they will. I mean, it is still a good deal. Um, I'm glad I got mine when I did. I got both my Super Scoop and my Color Scoop. And then he had the Dragon 24 sale. Um, so I got 35% off. So including, so in, with shipping, the total would have been $105. But with the 35% off, I paid $71 and that's including shipping. So minus shipping, it was $61. So I only paid $30.50 for each one. So damn good deal. Still a good, good deal, man. Still some, I mean, these are some once in a lifetime deals still. But anyways, I thought that was shocking. So I do still have a color and super scoop coming. And then I ordered one last $20 scoop. I did order some gems because um, I really wanted them. But they're tiny. So I really like his little bling um, pods of bling. And then once I get moved, I will be... Um, I will be... What was I going to say? I will be placing a big order with him. All right, we're already at 45 minutes. Let me hurry up. Me babbling along. I'm sorry, guys. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I also got from him uh, his peel-off base coat. I'm going to grab another one of these and a bunch of his acrylics. Now, I'm not a big color acrylic girl. I like the nudes because I'm a gel polish girl. So these are all the same. So somewhere, okay, I have the... Bisque, bisque, bisque. It's like a very light pink. And that is, I believe, yeah, number 43 is what it is. So like, there's two there. I think I have three of each. I have one more of these somewhere. I just don't know where. Let me see. Are they in here? Yeah, right here. So I have, yeah, three of those. And then I went and bought, this is more on the pinky side, number 44, which is, oh, they didn't put a name on, I can't remember the name of this one. Anyways, it's number 44. So I've gotten these. Okay. And then this is from the order that I got like stickers with. I got uh, stickers and one of his buffer files. I want to get the pink one. I think those are really, really nice. It's, uh, I think it's one. Oh, it's 100, 180. So I like that. Okay, so we got that. And then, hold on here. And then this, my very first order ever from him. Um, I ordered two packs. This was last summer. I ordered a pack of the long square tips or sculpture tips and um, the regular medium. And they gave this for free. Now, I have never been able to figure out what this is for. I think it might be to adhere 
the uh, it has a very strong smell and you have to mix it really good because it like tends to separate oh you can't really see because anyways it says cream puff and it's like this weird consistency so if any of you know how to properly use this i guess i can go look on the site but it doesn't i don't can't remember it given like a clear um description on how to use it so anyways this is the cream puff i got for free and one of my very my very first order ever from him long before the scoops okay so i have a cream puff and then this is his i believe this is the regular top coat so just a regular consistency um i'm not trying god i didn't want to open all of these dang it um let me just open it real quick and you're probably not gonna be able to see anyway so it's just it's not a thick it's not thick but it's just it is a nice consistent oh you can't even see anyways i'm gonna quit wasting my time trying to open open these because you can't even see because the blurry is so this is his regular top coat and then i have the wander gel okay put those in here and then and then can't wait to get my little uh, Eno Couture section set up. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Last but not least. Gosh, I don't feel like that's very much. I felt like I got more. But now that I'm, like, looking, it's like, oh, I need more. So, I got those. Dang it. Oh, okay. Okay. And then I got the uh, diamond gel, the rhinestone glue. Beautiful. So I'm glad most of his tops, they are adjustable. Oh, maybe this one isn't. I don't want to break it. I don't think it is. And it's not lined up. Oh, yes, it is. Cool. So it does move. Ooh, I like that printing on the tip. Ah. I wish you could see it. I can't go up close because it's blurry. No. Oh, that's annoying. Anyways, I got, that's his rhinestone glue, the diamond glue. Okay, so we got that. And then I got, oh, I got two of his fun gels. Beautiful packaging. Love this. Love it. So this is kind of like the style of the A-Pink. Um, these handles, but they have a star at the top. Oh, I just love these. So this one is, um, diamond. Hold on. Let me look. I still need the, okay. This is, I got diamond gold and diamond pink. Um, this is his flash gel or fun gel and number 164. I need to get the opal pink. That's the other one I need to get. So there's three of the diamond collection. Um, there's diamond opal, diamond pink, and diamond gold. Um, and this I got from him, the 164 and 163. I can't remember the number of the opal diamond. So you can't see very well because the fucking light is blurry. But I'll try and let you look. They're, it's beautiful. They're beautiful. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. So there's that. And that was the diamond gold. And then here's the diamond pink, 163. Okay. Oh, this one's so beautiful. Oh, I got to do a set, man. There, I think I'm going to do this and the that uh, that heavy metal neon the from the bonbon for my birthday set. Because my birthday's in April, which is springtime. So I think I'm going to use this diamond pink and that heavy metal neon yellow. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a badass set. Okay, so that is everything that I have ever purchased non-scoop-wise from, you know, Couture. Oh, besides I have two sets in, or two packs of tips in my drawer that I did purchase from them. So, But my collection will be getting, be getting much, much, much bigger. Once I get moved, I can, I'm going to be ordering a crap ton more items. Oh, I better put these in here. We don't want them getting damaged. So, yes, I love it. Love it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'll fix this in a little bit. I know I'm wasting time. Okay. 
so there's that. And then I just want to real quick show you guys. So I got me some new gloves. Because you know, I was just having a hell of a time with those freaking extra large gloves that I got on Amazon because they were super cheap is why I got them. But I got these six bucks at my cheap store for 200 you guys. I got the medium. I I have do have large hands, but I like my gloves snug. So I'm not, as I'm grabbing items, I'm not like catching and grabbing my gloves and pulling on them. So, yeah. I like them snug. So I got these for six bucks. 200 200 can you believe that so I got those and then I got this so I decided to put my acrylic here in here I'm gonna buy a few more of these I love this crystal clear case I'm gonna buy a few more of these these were a dollar 29 y'all dollar 29 I'm gonna buy a few more for my you know for others whatever and then I want a big one for like my big to replace uh to replace that one the the pink one thing um so that i can see that i just think they look beautiful in here isn't that gorgeous you guys can't even see very well because of the stupid blurriness okay so i got that and then i got this i don't know i'm not really into this one too much but i can always use it for storage or something but for now i'm using it to separate the plastic from the glass rhinestones um, that's the little bit that I'm working on right now. And then, of course, you guys seen the pictures of these. So, um, I may do a second, um, I think I'm going to do a second video for the scoops. Because we're already at an hour. Um, so I'll finish showing these and then I'll exit out. Because this was, uh, uh, this was a customer service review anyways i just threw in the other um so i got these for a dollar oh seven i think these are adorable to either um i could use them as the cases for our little bling scoops or just specifically use these for like the the giveaway at ones um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because I kind of would prefer, like, getting something like this. Obviously, this small, but, like, this kind of plastic, the acrylic, where it's, like, crystal clear and looks, like, high-end. I'd rather get little containers like that for our bling, spoots, uh, bling scoops because I, I want it, it all to be high-end, but a very very great quality and look beautiful and i want to get stickers made that we can put on our little containers um that say i don't know bougie bling or i don't know what we would call our bling scoops i kind of like bougie bling and then i can get some custom made stickers um that you can put on your little container like that'll be like this but it'll be this size so i'm thinking i'll just use these for the freebies you know what i mean the ones that are the winner giveaways i think that would be perfect and i have 20 so depending on how many we want to do for it we could do 10 giveaways um and then this would be enough for one year because i we're going to do it twice a year um but anyways and then look see how nice that is yeah so anyway yeah yeah, yeah. so i got those and then, uh, so, oh crap, I forgot to grab it. So, where is that stupid Shein bag? So, I paid $5 for a piece of crap. Hold on, guys. I'm going to grab it. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put you on pause, actually, so that we're not wasting more time. Hold on. Okay, so, I paid $5, like, for almost $5 for this stupid stupid little crappy thing and it look this doesn't even fit it properly it's huge I mean I know they do it so that you can make it huge but there's not even enough pages in there to make that that big and you can't add pages into it so because I got these I seen what is it Deborah LCC I always forget the name of her page I think it's Deborah LCC um, her, she showed this idea for our foils and I thought it was genius, but she bought the bigger one, the like seven or $8 one. 
Um, and the blank note cards, which is, and these were expensive on there too. I found them cheaper for like a dollar something for the same amount, same color on Timu. I paid like a dollar something for, I think 200 of them actually. And this one was only a hundred and the cheapest I could find was like, I think three bucks or something of these. But, um, they are, they are decent quality. I mean, eh, no, nah, they're pretty thin. Like, construction paper is what it is. It's basically, yeah, like, it probably would be just cheaper just to buy some, con a piece of construction paper for 99 cents and cut it up. But, anyway, you get a hundred of these, and then you wrap your, I see people doing it long ways, but I think this, you're going to get more use out of it. You know what I mean? Because you can do two per one instead of one. So, I do mine this way. Uh, but I've been seeing everybody wrap theirs the long way, and I think that's it, That's just wasting space. Um, I did, because you can do two. And, you know, a lot of us have doubles anyways of the foils, so this makes more sense. You know what I mean? Double them up. And then you get two per pocket. You know what I mean? So... Anyways, the point of me showing you this and this, so that's the great idea for the foils, is um, I found, I was looking on Amazon, and man, $10 for a freaking one inch binder and stuff, like, it's just insane, and I think the cheapest one I could find was like $7, and I was just like, man, I just, I'm not paying $7 for... A piece of plastic with three metal things. It just is insane. So I went to my little cheap store and these are so darling. Way cheaper, way cuter than the cheap ugly ones they had on Amazon. Or cheap for Amazon. So I got a purple sparkly one. I paid $3 for both of these, okay? And these are the 2 inch, I believe. Or no, maybe it's the 1.5. What is all over your face? Are you eating chalk, Andre? Why do you have chalk all over your face? Oh my gosh, you guys. That's that's my son, Andre. He is a little demon semen. So, I'm almost done, son. So, I got the purple sparkly one. So, and I ordered, I got like uh, 36 pages and it's like 550 pockets, the trading, oh, why is this all scratched up looking? Oh, this kind of stuff drives me nuts. Anyways, on Amazon for five bucks, so the little sleeves to put in here to put these, so I got this, I got the purple one, okay, I think, oh, that's the back of it, so this is uh, ba basic, so you know, the other brand is like basic. This one's basic. So, isn't that cute? That's the purple one. And then I got, of course, had to get the pink one, which is darling. So, I got pink and purple sparkly. Three bucks, you guys. So, I grabbed those for my foils. And then, you know how I buy these big old bags for my packing? Because these can be folded up, put away, and used later on instead of buying a bunch of boxes and throwing them away look at that they got new ones you guys so I'm definitely going to be buying like four more of these to finish my packing I'm probably gonna have a ton left over aren't those just darling but these could be used for so much going camping trip I mean they're huge you could fit like three of my sons in here I could bend in half and fit in this so, I'm definitely going to be buying a few more of these uh, next week. Isn't that cute? For my pa I wish they had these the whole time. I got all these the ugly ones. The blue pa plaid, whatever that lollipop looking thing. That one was okay, but they have a weird, really funny smell to them. And then this one. This one's my favorite. I wish they would have had them. Okay. So, all right. So, we are at an hour. I was going to do the scoops with this. This one, I wonder if we can rush through. We might be able to. No, it's going to be like an hour and 20. Should I just rush through while we're here? No. I'll do the scoops separate, you guys, because we are just. I mean, I got. Look. I got, yeah, six scoops here. So, 
Um, I love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you are still here. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I appreciate you watching my ridiculousness. And another thing I want to do the scoop separate is I'm tired. It's everything's blurry. So, um, I love you all. I appreciate you all so much. Oh, oh, oh. And before I forget, we made it to over 200, you guys. I love you guys so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you so, so, so very much. And if it was not for you guys, I can't believe over 200. And we haven't even, oh, tomorrow is my two-month mark. So, God, you guys are amazing. So, if I did a 100 subscribers every month extra, that would be, what, 1,200 subscribers a year? Oh, my God. That would be so amazing. Ah! Okay. 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 Anyways. All right, guys. We're at one hour. I love you all so, so very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Say hello in the comments, you guys. Let me know if you <laughs> even made it this far. I know. I don't blame you if you didn't. This is a, It was a long one. Me and my rambling. But, um, again, five star on the customer service at, um... Enel Couture, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you over at Enel Couture, I appreciate you all, and I know, like, you all make it happen and bust your asses to get our orders out, because I know I typically get mine pretty quick, so, thank you, thank you for your amazing customer service to whoever, whoever has, was emailing me and taking care of my situation at Enel Couture, I appreciate you, I appreciate you, you are so beautiful, and I, I, am grateful and thankful and appreciate your kindness with the situation all right you guys i will um be doing my scoop video here directly after so i love you guys toodles